Hello everyone, back with an EDD update. As we continue to make our way through the week, the ongoing issues for claimants remains, and they include those still waiting on phone interviews with the EDD, pending payments still needing to be pushed through to paid, claimants still needing to be transferred over to new claims under the DNCP, claims that still need backdating, and those waiting on appeals hearings to take place due to a disqualification on a claim. Meanwhile, one of the major issues that remains is for claimants who were previously awarded a new claim at the end of their benefit year, who are now discovering that their new claim is actually invalid due to a section of the unemployment code which had not been disclosed in any statement made by the EDD in regards to the subject. Now we're going to recap on that, and also why it looks like the EDD erred on a number of those claims. If you did qualify for a new claim at the end of your benefit year, then you should have received a notice like this in the mail, which was the Notice of Unemployment Insurance Award. Now, this new claim was supposed to be put on hold until you collected all PEUC benefits, which ended in early September as stated by the EDD. However, a number of claimants are being made aware of a specific unemployment code. Now, that specific unemployment code, also referred to as the lag period, refers to a section of the code that states a claimant cannot establish claims in back-to-back -back years without having worked again following the start of their first claim. Now, this is where the DNCP comes into play. When the DNCP was created back in 2010, one of the criteria was a claimant would be kept on a federal extension if their new claim had a weekly benefit amount that was at least $100 or 25% less than their federal extension. However, there are many claimants whose new claim was between $20 to $80 less than their PEUC extension that were kept on PEUC anyways. This appears to be another problem, and those claimants should have been moved over to a new UI claim. Now, had a claimant been transferred over to a new regular UI claim at the time they were awarded one, even though it paid less, many of them would still be receiving benefits today. A person who was awarded a claim in late May would have been able to collect benefits till mid-November, which is two months after federal unemployment extensions ended. Now, if you're unsure if you actually will be receiving that new claim under the DNCP, you may want to log into your UI Online account and click on the File a New Claim button as seen here, even though you had filed a new claim previously. If you're seeing this message that you did not earn enough wages to establish a new claim, then this may be the indicator your new claim is now invalid. In the meantime, we will continue to monitor the situation and we'll wait to see if the EDD decides to make any announcement on this issue, which clearly is impacting many claimants. Make sure to click on the subscribe button below for future updates on this channel, and thanks for watching.